Where is everyone? It's like a ghost town. And the first port of call it's going to have under this unit is through this water filtration unit. Right, we've got a pet hate of mine now. Nothing, won't even fit. These continental bloody whatever they are. Why they supply why they supply the bloody waste fittings that don't fit standard traps it just annoys me. Right, it's Monday morning again. It comes around too fast, doesn't it, Monday mornings? Um, right, this week, or well, this few days, um, I'm gonna, I'm jobbing around and catching up on a few little jobs that have sort of crept up on me since finishing that bathroom. I was concentrating on that last week and getting that done. So I hope you liked that video. If you didn't, I'll put a link up in the corner, pop back and take a look at it. Complete bathroom renovation. Um, yeah, so this week, I'm just gonna be catch, chasing my tail a little bit, catching up on a few jobs that I need to get done. Um, I think there's a shower to sort out. I've got to go and pipe up a kitchen unit um, this morning. So I'm just going to plumb base to pick some bits up. So yeah, plenty to get done this week. Loads of little bits and bobs. So um, stay tuned and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and um, we'll go and get these sorted out. Also, nearly forgot, thanks so much for subscribing to the channel. Um, I've hit just over 4,000 subscribers now. In I only started in January, so to get 4,000 subscribers where we're at now must mean you're all liking the channel, you're all liking the content, so I'll just keep doing exactly how I'm doing it, um, keeping it real, and just showing you what it's like day in, day out, doing our job. Um, you know, I'm, I'm trying to show you warts and all, trying to show you exactly what goes wrong. I'll, I'll show you the bits that go wrong, the bits that go right, the way I do things. Um, everybody does stuff differently, but I'm showing you the way I do it, the way I use certain tools and this, that and the other. So again, thanks a lot for the subscribing and the liking and the comments, most of the comments. Um, and right, anyway, back to where we're going. Where is everyone? It's like a ghost town. It's like a ghost town. Where are you all? You're out the back. Morning, AD. Morning, Dave King. Morning, Mark Tiff, the YouTube sensation. You better believe it. Right, okay, first job for today is we're back to this kitchen that we put all the pipe work in. Now, when I put the pipe work in, and what I usually do for kitchens is, uh, under here, I bought these out thinking that the kitchen fitter was gonna cut these off or access them and then put the unit back with the whole backboard on. But it turns out this one, he's, we're having a water filtration system here, a kooka tap here, so we're, we're gonna have it as, as, as exposed, exposed as that so we can get the pipe work in. So today I'm gonna alter that round get the water filter on here get everything fed off that put some stabs across for the kooka tap so the kitchen fit when they come to put the the quartz worktop on with a the sink they can connect onto that and i'll put ball of fixes there so they can just connect the tap on so everything's ready for them to go so we'll get that done and got my nice little map from um stickers in that if you want one of them stickers and that's the place to go on instagram Really good, great little work mats. Washable, mine needs a bit of a wash, so. But right, we'll get some bits done here. Right, there we go. So the main's now tweaked to there. So we can come off here, around, pick up the filtration units, going here, back, up to the tap, off to the Kuka tap, down to the rest of the house.
east to allow travel once again for the rest of the UK and Ireland. Andrew Campbell from the Royal Institute of Right, so this coal vein's coming in, and the first port of call it's going to have under this unit is through this water filtration unit that I get from Reeking Water, and they're spot on. Come with a coconut carbon filter, and it just fits in line on the side, so the water comes in, whichever side it is, I'll have a look in a minute, in, filter through, out, so everything in the whole house is filtered. Um, cracking bits of kit, and the guys at Reeking Water are good as gold, so if you need anything like that, give them a shout. cartridge off the bottom, pop the filter inside and it just screws screws back onto the housing like so dead easy to change if need be or when usually they last about a year to 18 months or so so we've got the filter back on the bottom so we'll turn it back on now and check it's okay Right, so we've got it turned off here. We'll turn the water back on now, like so. So now that's the coal main coming in, round, and into the filter. So everything's going through that filter. So on the front, you've got off, bypass, so it doesn't go through the filter, or filter on there. So for just now, I'll just switch it onto bypass to make sure it's watertight. That's all good. So now we can come off, off here and feed the house and everything else. So we'll get that connected up. So we're off the filter, into this tier here, down to fill the rest of the house, up, off here is going to go the cooker valve, that's got to go there with the pressure relief on it, and then we'll come off here with the T, up for the tap, down, isolation for American fridge, which is over there, which is going in here, so we can have the filter internal. Right, we've got a pet hate of mine now. Standard tra standard trap you pick up from the merchants from Plum Base. And it don't. Look, these fucking nothing won't even fit. These continental buddy whatever they are. Pain in the arse they are. Why they supply why they supply the buddy waste fittings that don't fit standard traps it just annoys me. So now I've had to drive all the way back to Plum Base to go and get a new, a different, uh, a different waste for that sink. 
See, these are the, these are the things that the customers don't see. A pissy little thing like that just annoys the hell out of you, and you've got to travel back forth, back forth to do it. Right, so this is what I was on about. So this is the this is the fitting that come with the the sink. So you try to get a trap onto that, and it's the same size as that. It just won't fit on. I don't know why they really supply them. It just won't fit. So I just have to go to the merchants, pick one up. Fits perfect. Fits a treat. But this is what people don't see when they buy stuff from places and. Oh, it's just a nightmare. So, that, you know, I spent half an hour, 45, well, half an hour going to get that sat in traffic. It's just a pain in the ass. But, never mind. Right, so there we go. We've got this temporary sink fitted in into this kitchen for the customer. Um, it's just temporary, so these hoses are, when the new sink goes in, that'll be done. But, yeah, so we've got the cold main straight through the filtration system and then it off, feeds the house back hot and cold, washing machine tap there for the American fridge that's going in, isolation valve for the Kuka tap with the pressure relief off, so that will cut into there when we do that. So yeah, and then I think the chippy will be putting a backboard down at some point, or however he's gonna finish that off, it's up to him. But yeah, so there we go. First job on a Monday. Got that working for the customer. There you go, always stick a sticker on. Perfect. Right, I've just been to the merchants and I've picked up some Loctite 55 because I got crucified on YouTube not so long ago for using PTFE tape. Not this, so I thought I'd give this a go. See what all the hype's about. And I've just got a, a phone call come through about changing a uh, passing siphon. And I know for a fact it's one of these Sam Skipper valves. So just picked up a washer for that. We're going to get it changed now. Right, so we get this changed. So the telltale sign is, you can see there, you see the water passing. So we'll whip the lid off. And whip the valve out. Now, it's got a, a ball of fix there, but I'm not going to turn it off because I've got a suspicion it's been in that long, it'll probably start passing. So I'll just flush that. Twist it out. As you can see the state of that washer. So we we'll take this uh, take this circle clip off, place this washer, pop it back in. Pop this clip off, just twist it off with a screwdriver in it, open it up, just pops off. Put the circuit back on, put it back into place. There we go, look, no longer passing. Give it a flush. So it beds in again. Just be, well that's filling up, just be dead mindful of these because they're that old and brittle, as you can see by the fingers. They do just really stain. So always just pop it straight back in, in the bag. Just have a little wipe up. But yeah, it does uh, leave a bit of a stain in everywhere. So yeah, there we go, perfect, job done. It's worth always just keeping a few of them in the van for what they cost. There we go, 
go. Switch the lid back on. No longer passing. Perfect. Nice little quick easy job.